Hello everyone, my name is Taufik from Tenet Tech Electronics. I'll be giving you a brief introduction on the components that we have. Hello everyone, now I'll be giving you an introduction to a silicon NPN power transistor or it can be labeled as 2N5294. So one element that has completely revolutionized the technology in the past decade is known by its name the transistor as we see here. It is named as a transistor which is of two terms that is transfer of resistor. It means that the internal resistance of a transistor transfers from one value to another value depending on the biasing voltage applied to the transistor. A transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify and switch electronic signals and electrical power. So in a computer chip, transistors switch between two binary states, as we know, zeros and one. So this is the language of computers. One computer chip can have millions of transistors continuously switching, helping complete complex calculations. So this may be looking small, but it could do a billion or a million number of calculations required for us. An NPN transistor can be used in two different modes. So this can be worked in a forward bias mode and a reverse bias mode. In forward bias, the electrical current can easily flow through it. So it acts like a closed switch. However, in a reverse bias mode, the current through it practically is zero and thus it just acts like an open switch. So here you can just see this three pins, one, two, three. So the first pin is the base, second is the collector and the third is the emitter. So this has, is called also called as a power transistor because it can handle more number of voltages. So if you look at collector emitter and emitter collector, it goes to 70 volts and 80 volts. So now we'll see a short demonstration of how this transistor works. Now we'll see a demonstration for this 2N5294 IC. <coughs> As you have seen this circuit before, the circuit diagram I've shown you before. So based on that, we'll be just connecting this IC to a simple LED. And let's say, check how this blinks. So as we know, this is the collector, the base, and the emitter. So the first one is the collector from where we give the output, and the base which we give the power supply, and the emitter which is grounded. So based on that, we'll just give a connection here. It's not entering. Yeah. It's not close inside. Now <coughs> we have the LED here connection here. From the base, I give the power supply. So, with the resistor, we'll be giving it. Okay. So, this emitter will be grounded. So, we ground the LED. And now, what I do is, I interconnect this LED and the power supply. Now, I'll give the power supply. So, this ground is grounded along the ground and now I get the input now we we'll see the LED blinking so we can see this LED blinking so the power supply is given to the base from there the supply is given from the collector to this LED and the emitter is ground so we saw a simple 2 and 5294 IC working. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts or queries, you can log on to www.tenectech.com or you can drop a mail to info at tenectech.com.